We're standing in the Fifth Avenue escalator lobby of the Music City Center. As you can see right behind us, we've got this escalator bank that is getting drywalled in. And one of the neatest features about this space is there's going to be a 140 foot high piece of hanging visual art designed by Ball Noguez Studios of California. It's 28 miles of beaded chain. It's called a euphony. Uh, I think it's going to be one of the most remarkable things about the, the interior design. It's one of 65 pieces of art in the building. The exhibit hall is at street grade. There's a 65 foot grade change from 8th Avenue to 5th Avenue. So we stacked the 60 meeting rooms down at the 5th Avenue level. You're standing in one of the 5th Avenue meeting room corridors. These have all gotten final paint. They've gotten final cloth panel insets. And as we'll see in just a minute, carpeting is about to begin. Millwork is almost finished down here as well. I think it looks pretty sharp to have that nice wood grain panel going on. 90% of the work going on in the building now is working on these interiors because we've got about 38 or 39 weeks left to completion. We're looking at the monumental staircase. And as you can see right now, it's getting finished stonework on it. So for a while, it just looked like steel stairs. Uh, now I think you can get a better view of how it's going to look. It's going to be very, very attractive. There's going to be another piece of just monumental art hanging in this space. And if you remember those old model airplane or model car kits you had when you were a kid, where the pieces snapped off a central tree, that's what it's going to look like. But it's going to be huge. It's going to be 100 feet long, and it's going to have instruments snapping off. It looks like they're ready to snap off saxophones, violins, trumpets. You see these little niches in the wall? These are also going to be lit, so that's going to be another small but attractive feature. We're standing adjacent to 6th Avenue where buses and taxis will drop off. So one of the first things folks see as they come in here is going to be another art piece that's woven around these silver gray columns you see by an artist named Beth Galston. And it looks like a musical staff with blue LED lights on it that resemble notes and it is uh, motion activated, so the lights come on and go off and it will look like music playing. But this is Sixth Avenue. When the building is complete, two-way traffic will be able to go through the building. Then we'll have taxi and bus drop off to the right. And there's also gonna be a VIP drop off, for instance, if the first lady or the president, somebody like that is here. And that's gonna be um, up on Demumbrian Street, just to the left. This is the Davidson Ballroom. This one, I think, is going to be very usable to local groups. Maximum seating is 1,500 people, but it can be divided up like every other room in the building. Well, we're standing in the middle of the exhibit hall. It is eight acres. Uh, it's actually about the size of a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. And it's got as few columns as we could possibly have to support the building because having a pretty open room is very important to most meeting planners. Uh, this can be divided up into five separate bays. And if you can see some of these glassed-in rooms across the hall, that's where the meeting planners could actually sit and control traffic for their show, see what's going on down on the floor. We are standing towards the Demumbrian Street, uh, 8th and Demumbrian Street end of the site, and we are looking all the way down the north concourse to the east. Um, we've got the granite and limestone finishes going in. We've got columns that are going to be painted soon. Uh, we are officially dried in, which means all the glass is done. All the roofing is done and we are weather tight. This is the grand lobby of the building. Um, on the job site, we've always called it the whale just because of the shape of the pop out here. So this is gonna be one of the first impressions many people have of the building as they come in from either of those Fifth Avenue cascading stairs or if they come in on Demumbrian Street. We're standing in the grand ballroom. It seats up to 6,000 people in this room. And the guitar shaped design that starts on the roof flows down through this room with interior finishes that are made to make you feel like you are sitting inside a guitar. The area we're standing in is part of the pre-function for the grand ballroom. We call it the sunroom because clearly it's glassed in. Uh, it gives you a lovely view of downtown Nashville and particularly the Omni Hotel, which is rising to our east. We've got 39 weeks left on the job. We've come a long way. There's still a lot to be done, but we will finish by April 30th, 2013, and we're on budget.